So we're here today with Champions Tour player Mike Goodis, and we're talking to him a little bit about his involvement in the Youth Golf Foundation. Mike, what has inspired you to be a part of the uh, Youth Golf Foundation? Well, the, the main thing about being involved in the Youth Golf Foundation was to try to give back to the community in a way. Uh, obviously, golf's a passion of mine, and to, to be able to give uh, people, some kids that may not otherwise have an opportunity to uh, get involved in golf more, you know, not just hit a golf shot or two, but compete at it at a higher level. Uh, the uh, financial opportunity and also the training uh, that goes along with it. Um, with the My Goodness Scholarship Fund, uh, how is that going to assist the young people in uh, Greensboro and that are a part of the foundation? Well, obviously we're going to try to raise some money, a lot of money we hope. Uh, I've got some friends coming in a, uh, September from the Champions Tour are going to help out and hopefully local uh, corporations and individuals will help for it uh, to raise some money to, to get clubs, shoes, opportunities, uh, lessons opportunity uh, for the kids to uh, pursue a dream hopefully. Nice. All right. um, and what qualities uh, do you think are important as far as your journey in life? And uh, what do you hope to instill in the young people of the community? Well, I'm not sure, you know, the qualities in my life, but uh, the, the, the qualities I'd like to instill would be, uh, you know, hard work and doing it the right way. Uh, that's what I've, the only way I've been able to accomplish anything I've been able to as far as business and, or golf, was strictly working hard. My dad always told me, you know, you're either getting worse or better. And, and if you don't work hard, you're going to only get worse. So, so uh, that's that would be the you know, main thing I try to instill in the kids. And how has the uh, Precision community assisted you in your golf career? Well, the Precision uh, family in general has really helped me. Uh, Robert Limble has been my teacher for 16, 17 years. Uh, not only a, a great teacher, but he's a great friend. Um, I've told a lot of people, I don't know, you know, it's hard to judge one teacher over another teacher in golf, who's better? I said, but the first thing is I'd have to be, it had to be somebody I liked and somebody I could be around and had good morals and and uh, people I'd want to be around and Robert's that way and the same with the uh, rest of the crew here at Precision. Other uh, people I'd want to be associated with and want to call friends. And then I think they're very knowledgeable in what they do. And, and I would not be playing the Champions Tour today if it wasn't for all of Robert's help. And uh, tell us a little bit more about the upcoming Pro-Am on September 27th at Bryan Park. Well, the Pro-Am on September 27th at Bryan Park, uh, hopefully it's going to be a lot of fun. i got some friends. We don't have everybody committed yet, but I'm going to have a lot of friends from the Champions Tour coming to play. Some big names, some major champion winners. And, uh, you know, we want to get the you know, corporations in Greensboro to jump on board and have some fun with it and meet some of these guys and play golf with them and uh, raise money for an outstanding uh, foundation, whether my name was on it or not. We want the kids to have the opportunity, the same opportunity I was ha I had. And uh, everybody doesn't have it, and that's the only, that's a real drawback about golf. And there's, the barriers have been broken uh, or have been coming down, and there's still a lot of barriers still need to come down for that. All right. Thanks a lot, Mike. We appreciate your time.